When Pope Benedict XVI visited Cuba earlier this year, we at One Cuba collected signatures on a petition asking him to make time for human rights activists and other leaders on the island. Thanks to participation from signatories like you, we managed to get signatures and support from hundreds of people, including well-known ones, like authors Carlos Eire and Carlos Frias, politicians like Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Ileana ross Lettinen, entertainment industry people like Enrique Santos and Andy Pita, students, bloggers, policy analysts, and more. Even though Pope Benedict XVI never gave face time to those Cuban leaders, we did manage another significant victory. We helped make the struggle for liberty in Cuba a part of the broader narrative, not just in the media, but at the dinner table. In local, national, and international press, your efforts made the story not just about the conflicts between left and right, young and old, hardliners and moderates, but about the cause of liberty and its struggle to overcome tyranny. There's lots of room for debate on the Cuba issue, but on this, on that struggle, we all know which side we're on. Now we're launching a new project. This time around, we're calling on all of you again to help us show the world that we really are one Cuba, united in the cause of liberty. How? By lending a hand. Literally. See what I did there? We're asking you, your friends, your family, and anybody else, Cuban or not, to help us out by taking photos of yourselves making this simple gesture. L. For libertad. Liberty. It's a simple gesture for a simple message. Like the one we sent the Pope, it's one we can all get behind. We're also calling on you to help us get big names to take their own solidarity photos. Tweets, status updates, shares, likes, plus ones, they can be powerful, especially when they're coming from people who reach millions with just the click of a mouse. If we can get the right individuals to follow our lead in telling the world we care about liberty, that message will go places it otherwise never would have. Now we'll admit our first celebrity goal is ambitious. We're on a time crunch, and these people have a lot of attention on them. There are currently four Cuban Americans representing Team USA at the Olympic Games in London. They are Ryan Lochte, Danelle Leva, Manny Huerta, and Robin Prendes. They all have the Olympic spotlight on them, even more so now that they've won some medals. Imagine the impact of a photo of all four of them gathered at the Olympic Village or wherever in London, flashing the L for Libertad. So here's how you can help. First, take a picture of yourself making the L for Libertad. Do it wherever, at home, at your office, some scenic place you're on vacation, doesn't matter. Second, share the photo with us. You can email it to us at onecubanow, that's O-N-E, Cuba Now, I'll put it right here if you're a YouTube viewer, at gmail.com, or use the form at facebook.com slash O-N-E Cuba. Then tell those Cuban-American Olympians to join us in making this super simple gesture of solidarity with the Cuban people. We'll put all the relevant URLs from their Twitter feeds to their blogs to their Google Plus pages and Facebook timelines in the description to this YouTube video down below here if you're actually viewing on YouTube. And I'll put it in an annotation up on the whiteboard. Together, we can make the cause of liberty in Cuba a part of the story again, one small gesture at a time.